Okay, you have a ceramic capacitor. This is not going to be drawn to scale. Okay. And for instance, we may have... You may see that. One five with an underline, or even a five with an underline. The underline means that it's red with the, un the underline facing at the bottom, so the value is actually 15. This only becomes apparent if you have a capacitor that says 66 and if you turn it upside down obviously it's going to read 99 so that's what the line's for but they often have this extra third digit on here which is in this case 151 but let's for instance change that to 152 okay 152 so that means that's 15 with two zeros after it. And so, when it's read, 152 means 15 with two zeros, or 1500 picofarad. And then if you divide that by 1000, we're shifting the decimal point back three places, so it becomes 1.5 nanofarad. And if we divide that nanofarad figure by 1000, we're moving the decimal point back three places, one, two, three. So we end up with 0.001 microfarad. And that's how to work out these codes. Let's take another example. So now I've changed the value to 104. Uh, so now it's 1 and 0, so 10, with four zeros after it. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 100,000 picofarad. Divide that by 1,000 gives us 100 nanofarad. Divide that by 1000 equals 0.1 microfarad. So you can use this code to work out what the capacitance is either in nanofarads or microfarads and it will work the reverse way too if you want to find out what point, uh, zero, uh, sorry, 0 0.1 microfarad is in nanofarad you times that by 1000 comes out as 100 uh, nanofarad and if you really wanted to work out what it would be in picofarad well you times it by a thousand you'd get ten thousand so we then know it's going to be ten with four zeros on so it equals 104 so you can do it in reverse as well now there may also be a letter after this like a B or a K that's basically tolerance um, of the component um, unless you're engineering something that's super critical to have uh, very low tolerance we just ignore like the B or the K or whatever's on the end of the uh, number but that's how to read ceramic capacitors and actually how to read green cap capacitors and MKT capacitors because they all use the same numbering convention. Um, and that's basically all it is. So it's not that hard to work out.